What's up, everybody? I'm Brian McIntosh here, going brothers. I'm here with the beautiful and talented Miss Regina, who's all the way from Houston, dope entrepreneur in the area who we had the opportunity to collab with. Regina, how you doing today? I'm good. Thank you for the wonderful introduction. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, just tell us a little bit about yourself and how this shoot came about. I'm a creative director, photographer, and wardrobe stylist. I started working with Warren Brothers and had this concept, this idea of wanting to bring like my connection with Houston and Houston slab culture, the hip hop culture, our music to fashion. And I've been looking for ways to do that for a lot of years. And Warren Brothers gave me the opportunity to write my love letter to Houston through this photo shoot. So can you just speak about, just give your opinion on just like, you know, what you think about Warren Brothers as a whole and like what really drew them to you with the fashion sense? I love the quality. I love the quality of everything they make. I love the design. I love the style. I love the aesthetic. Um, for me, I think that I love the look of a well-dressed man, that tailored, clean um, architecture. So when I saw their hats and got to actually touch them, hold them, wear them, I was like, yeah, this is a product. This is a company I want to work with. So we go about just, you know, the whole city of Houston as a whole, the culture, the fashion, everything. Everything about how we dress here is it's a, it's a show. It's it's very showy. Even with like the women, like our our looks, we are very we put ourselves together. Like we look like we're going somewhere, even when we're not. And the funny thing is, when I left Houston and would go other places, and I would dress like I'm from Houston, and people are like, "Where are you going? We're just going to the Chow Hall. We're just going to Walmart." And I'm like, "No, we get dressed wherever we're going. I could be going outside to my car. I'm going to be dressed." Yeah. So bringing that back, I wanted to kind of showcase how Houston's evolved and how we are starting to create the trends. We're starting to be the pioneers of fashion in the fashion community. You know, normally everyone looks to L.A. and New York. And now with the rise of like our Gulf Coast um, screw and it becoming more on the main stage, People are looking at how we dress and looking at how we put ourselves together. So this is the time for us to come out as leaders in fashion. Speak about like some specific trends that Houston has been setting when it comes to fashion. I call it the like um, the dapper gentleman look. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that is very much something that Houston and Atlanta pioneered with like the gentleman wearing the bringing back the three piece suits or the vest, the button down shirts and just bringing like a kind of swag to it, rolling up the sleeves, putting, you know, feathers in the hats, just like really bring that flair and that like culture. It really has a unique color scheme. Can you speak about about kind of that color scheme and how that correlates with the fashion and hat culture? We kind of dress based on our weather and we have this, it probably like I would say summer eight months out of the year and then fall for four months. Like we really have the weirdest weather. It's like rain and then hot heat. So with that, we tend to kind of um, play with our color palettes, like neutrals. Um, you don't see people wearing a lot of dark, dark colors, bold reds, primary colors, yellow, orange, blue um based on where people like how they feel comfortable about it but it's like it's usually like primary colors solids um neutrals but then you get people who step up and they change up their flair and they're wearing pinstripes the polka dots florals paisley prints so like you can't lock us into like one aesthetic because like we're gonna just like at the moment you try to pick up on what we're doing we switch like houston really does have its own culture and its own slang so like if you could, for like somebody that's going to be watching this who wants to, you know, the Houston slang tutorial guide, break down some popular terms and like what they mean for us. <laughs> let's let's start yeah. with slap. Let's start with this. Let's, let's, let's start. Let's start with slap. <laughs> Oh, goodness, with slab so slow out and begging, like, that's the cars. That's, like, the candy-painted, like, custom cars. Slow out and banging isn't just for fashion. It's for, it's for the fashion, the cars, and the music. It's all synonymous, correct? I would say the, like, starting with slow out and banging, like, everything else started to splinter from that. Like, we used to have, like, these car, um, like, I would say parade, because I was a little kid and see all of them bring out their slabs on the weekends, like on MLK and just be like, wow. Like, and then everybody's dressed down in their drip. Like, it's just like, oh, okay. Like, and the fit matches the car and they pop the trunk and their base. Like, it's a whole vibe. It's a culture. It's, it's everything about it that goes with it. That's like, yeah, that makes slab culture. When it comes to fashion, why do you feel like hats 
it's kind of become a big thing when it comes to, you know, completing the outfit, specifically with Houston culture. I feel like you like you just look naked without the hat. Like it's just like once they put it all together, it's like if they don't have something to like put on their crown, like it, it's it completes it. Like that's the crown, like the finishing touch. They're all men and women, they're kings and queens in their own right. So like the hat for men and women finishes the look. And a lot of our women here wear hats. Like is that's that southern culture, like from the church ladies to now brunch, the brunch girls, the going out and getting cocktails, the party turn up is like, where's your hat sis? Like, what you doing? <laughs> With doing the photo shoot, it was a chance to really show my roots and be able to connect that with a telling a story. And for me, it was just kind of like a Bonnie and Clyde, a a girl that like our, our girls, like, I mean, Drake said it, Houston girls are, are, are the best. And so we have this edgy, gritty, soft, hard, you know, roughness is like, at the same time, we might cuss you out and then fix you a plate and be like, here, now shut up, you know? So I feel like portraying that strength, that feminine strength was part of the story. And then also just showcasing like the, um, the silent resilience of Houston men and like that culture. Like it's a lot of our men don't talk a lot. Like it's just very like, hey, be easy, you know, just kind of so that being in all of that together and just being able to show how we are and who we are and then telling the story of these characters, how they interact around the cars at this like iconic location. I just wanted to just be like, eye candy. All of it is eye candy. Specifically, like what's some of your like all time favorite born hats and then specifically for this shoot, which one are you most excited about to kind of cop and see other people rock? So I definitely love the uh, stallion hat. <laughs> Of course, as a stallion myself. Sure. Um, I love the stallion hat. I love the panther hat. I like the ladybug hat. It was red with a cute little ladybug on it. Um, I'm a little dirty birdie, so I liked the rooster hat or like, cause I was just like double entendre there. And so yeah. <laughs> um, just like, um, there was this one Chris, the white tiger one that was so clean. And then when we put it on the white slab, like, on the like rims, oh my God, like I can't wait. There's so many different pictures from this shoot that I can't wait till it comes out. I the dwarves in there too that were pretty dope. Had a few fedora hats in there that were pretty soft. Yeah. Like a gray Nighthawk, I think it was. Yes, but, it was. Uh, yeah, 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 we put that on one of the models, um, Samaria. She pulled that off and gave us, she was very much giving us uh, Queen and Slim vibes with that. For you, like what would be a win as far as what people are kind of learning about Houston as a whole from this shoot? Um. I want people to learn that Houston has like culture. It's not just like cowboys and yeehaw down here. Like we definitely have a fashion sense. We're not all just, you know, people put a lot of politics on it, but like Houstonians, especially we come together when shit needs to be done or stuff needs to be done. We, we come together and we take care of each other and we're a big family. Um, we may have, we're, our problems or whatever, but Houston, I, I've never felt more at home than I feel in Houston. From the shoot, I wanted to show that, like the diversity of the, even the um, the models that we use is there. Um, I want to even show off that, like, you know, our arts, like from, when you watch the story, you'll just see it's different styles. It's not just all high fashion, it's a range. We go from high fashion to low fashion, to thrifted, to, you know, vintage, to all of these things that create drip because that is Houston style. We we are more about the story, telling our story through fashion and expressing ourselves instead of just trying to copy what everybody else does. Give everybody that's gonna be watching this, you know, final thoughts on this shoot and what they can expect and some of the drip they're gonna be seeing, all that. Um, final thoughts, y'all are gonna love this shoot. This editorial came from my heart to y'alls. Uh, if you're from Houston, hey, what it do? If you're not, you're gonna, and you love Houston, you're gonna love the fashion. You're gonna love the Goran hats. You're gonna love the farm collection and just the way we brought it together. You're gonna love the slabs. You're gonna love seeing these cars and seeing the screw shop and seeing how we put this together to put on for our city.